Hello and brightest blessings, I'm Amethyst Moonflower and welcome to my channel, welcome to my sacred space, my sanctuary, and thank you everyone for joining me here underneath this magical new moon in Cancer. And so I just want to take a moment and say thank you first to all of my new subscribers. I'm now up to 649 at this moment of me filming this video so i'm super grateful for everyone new who has joined me here and i really super appreciate it and i'm really really excited to get started on this super magical uh new moon magic circle um reading and energy everything with you guys and so Thank you, and before I get started here, I just wanted to take a moment and kind of talk a little bit about what the new moon in Cancer really means and the kind of energies that are coming in at this time. And so uh, the new moon in Cancer is on July 9th, 2021, and in my area it rises at 9.17 or you know goes exact at that time and it is also in the seventh house for the general um, populace so um, the new moon is a time for beginnings it's a time for new ideas setting your intentions and getting your goals and plans set up and getting a reset energetic spiritual reset out with the old in with the new it's a time for introspection and transformation and wishing and all those uh, really wonderful energies and cancer is a sign of nurturing it's a sign of motherhood emotional healing spiritual physical healing just all the like really strong nurturing healing energies it's about your home life your family life close relationships um inner child self um you know ch work children close relationships and you know uh, a lot of self-care and cancers are pretty private people they tend to you know want to huddle up in their little uh, hermit crab shell well or different there's different types of crabs uh, you have the the hermit crab which grows out of its shell and has to go find a new shell and then you have the other type of crab where the the shell grows with the crab so either way you know it's home and its inner self is very very important to to that so that's the kind of energies that we're kind of looking at and we're vibing with in this really potent water sign energy. Water being, you know, the sign of motion and feeling, going with the flow, um, also like the womb and creation and things like that, um, dreams, psychic energy, um, those types of things are also interwoven with where we're at in this energy right now and every sign will be kind of affected differently depending on how the, what uh, house your sign is in but for the energetic overview and I'm sorry if I keep looking down I have notes okay but the overall vibe of what we're looking at right now is uh, start coming into your private life and something rising up in connection with people and places that you hold dearest to your heart and closest to you this can be any kind of family member or roommate or it can also do with your house and your space your the way your um the way you feel in your home or the way your home feels to you also your inner space so, you know, working on your inner self as well as your home life and um, maybe hoping to move forward with something special happening in your private life and to remember that you can do it 
reconnecting with family and your inner child and if you need to take care of yourself nurture yourself and uh, working on insecurities and anxiety and fear because those are usually uh, pretty common shadow elements that come up around this time um, because they they like to keep to themselves sometimes they can come off as being lacking of confidence or insecurity because you know people will notice them and and just a lot of emotion is coming up at this time a lot of emotional healing everybody's going to feel it one way or another and yeah doing so could bring you to your heart's desire if you are working on these things it can lead you to what you truly desire and one of the things because it is a, a water sign we're going to be working with a lot of water elements today and I also wanted to point out because it's in the seventh house the seventh house represents marriage partnerships relationships and so um, those types of emotional healing or those types of emotional connections that romance and also the people that you hold closest in your life are going to be most strongly affected for everybody and um, there could just be a lot of love and a lot of moments where um, you may have to just share how you're feeling you have to get it out you may find yourself needing to cry or needing to just spend time alone and do a lot of self-care and things like that at this time which is really really important and you know um, the number seven itself if we were going to look at it as a, just a number because um, the seventh month is you know July is the seventh month it's, and if you add seven and nine together that makes 16 which breaks down to seven and it's in the seventh house so seven is a big number for um, the energy that's going on right now and that can represent dreams desires luck hope spirituality intelligence analytical thinking philosophy introspection focus into intuitive knowledge contemplation and inner wisdom so those are kind of what we're looking at but interesting as well um, if you were going to break um, 2021 down it's a five so we got a five year and if you add seven and five together you get 12 which breaks down to three so we actually will if you wanted to have like a mul three five and seven are three major numbers that are popping up around this time and five kind of represents change and obstacles and um, you know conflicts and things like that and three kind of um, it represents you know communication and imagination expression optimism success and creativity so we have all these different numbers kind of like coming in but seven is definitely the main one and so you can kind of bring that in and on the day that I'm filming this is actually the seven seven portal so there's like I'm saying there's a lot of sevens that are coming in around this time and maybe if you was going to do something you could work with the number seven and what it is that you desire bringing in what you desire bringing in you know what truly makes you happy what you truly wish for what you truly want and focusing on miracles and making the changes in your life that need to be made and overcoming the obstacles that are blocking you from the change that needs to be made and so um yeah anyways what I wanted to kind of go over a little bit here but before I go, go through everything that I have sitting around I want to just um, take my uh, white sage clearing spray that I have here and I'm going to just spray myself 
and the space around and this can be for anybody who's watching as well and I decided to use my uh, white sage clearing spray instead of the smoke since we're working with water element and we're going to be I got all these things here in front of me so we'll definitely use the spray clear the energy mmm I love the way that smells and I have my new moon incense blend that I have uh, made up here I'm going to be making a bigger batch and I'm going to be putting this on my Etsy shop um, at Etsy slash shop slash magically mixed that's the name of my shop magically mixed I'm going to ha uh, have the link in the description below um, all of my incense and sprays and things that I make I am going to be putting on to my shop so if you're interested in any of the things that I am going to be sharing with you you can uh, find them there but this uh, new moon incense blend has like frankincense, myrrh, mugwort, um, wormwood, uh, violet, eye bright, um, a little bit of lavender, and you know a few others. I have the recipe written down. But yes, it smells so lovely and it works so nice for this new moon energy. And I'm going to put this here. And just letting this beautiful new moon incense move into the space. Also, I wanted to share with you some crystals that I have here that I brought into the space as well. Um, you can use these also or any other, whatever you feel called to use at this time. But I have brought in my amethyst because amethyst is really good for spiritual and emotional healing. And then I also brought in my uh, celestial. So, um, not celestite. <laughs> um, no, it is celestite. Sorry, <laughs> I have my celestite here, and uh, this is really great for opening up the throat chakra and bringing in communication with celestial beings such as angels and spirit guides and things like that. And it, I brought it in because it's this really blue light color is also you know associated with the water element and then I brought in my uh, piece of azurite here and the azurite is really good for uh, awakening the third eye and bringing in the the dream state and the intuition state and um, just allowing yourself to open up and visualize and heal a lot of emotional blockages as well. And I also have a piece of Labradorite for the new moon. I also have a piece of Iolite here, which is also really good for intuition and dream work and things like that. Um, and then I also have here um, ruby and ruby and fuchsite. Sorry, I had ruby and fuchsite. But then I also have a piece of just ruby, and I brought these in for heart healing and also root chakra. But it's also ruby is the um, July Cancer birthstone, and so I brought that in. I also brought in some sodalite for more emotional healing and stabilization, opening of the throat chakra. And I also brought in some moldavite and prenite. Prenite is the healer's stone. And we are, and moldavite is just it's amazing for a lot of things, but it's really good for just like all of your chakra work. It's really heart centered base and it, it just opens you up and 
clears a lot of things and rebalances you and gets your kundalini going and all kinds of stuff. So since we're doing so much healing work, I really wanted to bring the, all these together. Oh, and I also have my smoky quartz for clearing away um, any negative energy, stale energy, transmuting that energy into positive energy. Yeah, and I also have here my uh, water element essential oil blend, which has hints of jasmine, eucalyptus, and rose, which mm, smells so beautiful. And I have little jasmine um, uh, herb in here as well. So those are some of the things that I brought in to work with at this time. <clears throat> and also, sorry, I almost forgot, I wanted to share one more thing with you. This is another item that I'm going to be adding to my shop. Now, this is a really big jar. But this is the uh, big blend, and I'm going to be, you know, breaking this up into uh, smaller jars so that everybody can get a little bit of it. But this is my um, ritual bath salt blend that I made special for when you're doing ritual baths. And it, it's uh, Epsom salt, sea salt, with lavender, jasmine, and rose petals in here. And it also has um, some rose and eucalyptus and lavender um and as well as white sage essential oil um added to it so the smell is it is really really strong and well i'm sorry i said jars but i'm actually planning on putting them in little uh sachets so that when you put it in the water it doesn't um clog up your drain or anything like that you know you can't just add it straight to the water you have to have it in a sachet when you use it so but yeah anyways this is an amazing blend and the reason why I wanted to mention the ritual salt bath is because um, on new moons new moons full moons or whenever you feel like you need it it's a great idea to do a, a cleansing bath and since we're in a water sign and it's all about healing and cleansing and resetting that energy, um, a ritual bath is highly recommended at this time, as well as um, cleansing your home and your space that you're in, getting organized and cleaning out the clutter and getting your house nice and clean and making yourself feel good in the home and making your home feel like a space that you want to be in and welcoming and working on family matters as well as you know working on your inner space as well like we was talking about before so really doing um a ritual bath cleanse is is wonderful at this time so here i'm going to just come back into center and we're all going to just take a deep breath and I'm going to start by getting my drum here, my um, hand drum, and we're going to just call in the elements and bring all the energies in. We call into our sacred space this element of air, guardian of the eastern gate, to come into our space for this new moon tonight. Bring us clarity, bring us insight, bring us vision and intuition, bring us breath. Thank you and be welcome. We call upon the element of fire, guardian of the southern gate, for attaining our right and guarding our circle. 
bring us energy, passion, vitality, life force, will, courage, and desire. Thank you and be welcome. And we're going to call into our space tonight the element of water, guardian of the western gate, to attend our right and guard our circle, bring us emotional healing, bring us nurturing, bring us life, creativity, flow, purification, thank you and be welcome. And then we call into our space tonight the element of earth, guardian of the northern gate, for attending our right and guarding our circle. Bring us grounding and stability and strength, a solid foundation, abundance and prosperity, everything that we need to survive here in our material realm wisdom of the forest. Thank you and be welcome. And then we'll take a moment to call into our space tonight our higher self and our guardian spirits that are here to help us on our purest journey our higher selves with most positive intentions, angels, great master teachers, thank you, be welcome. I'm going to call into our space tonight, the Lord, the masculine, God, the Father, to attend our right and guard our circle. For you are the light that shines, the great consort of the mother, the vital life force, the source of all life, the great creator. May you bless us as we bless you. and be welcome. And then lastly, we call into our space tonight the great feminine, the great mother, the divine goddess, the moon. We welcome you into our space tonight and honor you holy night Hecate we welcome you underneath this dark moon this new moon your moon the moon of wisdom the moon of knowledge the moon of introspection rebirth reset newness Refreshment, rebirthing. Thank you for guiding us and watching over us and protecting us. And may you bless us as we bless you. Thank you and be welcome.
now that we've opened up our circle and called in all of our beautiful spirit guides, thank you all for sitting with me. I'm going to add a little bit more incense to my charcoal here. Keep it going. Oh. All right, so what I wanted to do is just do something really quick and simple for the main part here. And with using these essential oil sprays that I have created, and these are also going to be available on my Etsy shop, Magically Mixed. And like I said, the link for all the things that I've made will be available and the link will be in the description. But this, um, is, I have eight here. Um, even though we're working with the number seven, I always include the earth star chakra for below the feet. That is the, um, it's like a black chakra or a dark gray chakra or a dark brown chakra. You know, it's very, that dark earth color. Like if you think of that really dark, rich earth soil, that is the color of this earth star chakra. And it's approximately like six to 12 inches below the soles of your feet and that's what connects you to the earth and so this earth star chakra essential oil spray it is um it also has uh, black obsidian uh, chips in here and it has pine essential oil and white sage essential oil um, mixed in here and you always want to shake them before you spray them to get the oils mixed into the water since oil likes to set above so shake it to get it mixed in real good get the activation and just I like to just spray it on my feet on my ankles and my lower legs as well mm. ah. I dropped a lid And this will help clear and rebalance that um, earth star chakra energy. And then we're going to move on to the root chakra. And also while you're doing this, um, you can use a crystal that is associated with the chakra as well. And the root chakra is right at the base of your tailbone. And this has sandalwood and patchouli essential oil in it, as well as red jasper um, crystal chips inside. So we're going to give it a shake, and then we're going to spray all around. And just let the essential oils move into your field and clear the root chakra. And then we're going to use the Sacral Chakra Cleansing Spray, which has Carnelian Crystal and Orange. Which, and that is right to about a um, couple inches below the belly button in your womb space. And this is great for creativity and um, things like that. And I always spray all the way around. Even though a lot of people like to visualize it from the front, they're actually more aligned the spine so getting it from the all the way around is really good and then we have the solar plexus spray which is citrine crystal and lemon essential oil and the uh, solar plexus is about right above the navel or right below where your lungs are at where your diaphragm is sitting And lemon is really good for waking up and energizing you and bringing in that cleansing life force energy and you know lemon is great for a lot of things but it's just that yellow bright happy mm, get you going scent and then we have the heart chakra which has green adventurine rose and frankincense this one's very popular it smells beautiful really great for opening up the heart chakra 
center of the chest, shoulders, and upper back. Hmm. And then we have the throat chakra, which has blue quartz, aquamarine, as well as eucalyptus essential oil. And so we'll just spray the throat and behind the ears and at the base of the head right here. Mmm. And a eucalyptus is really good for clearing the sinuses. And you'll notice that once you spray it on your throat, um, you'll be able to start smelling these. And you know, if you spray them on your wrist, you smell them or spray them around you. If you only have one, you know, you just spray it around you. The smell of the eucalyptus really opens you up and gets you breathing. And yeah, so it's, it's really great for that. And then for the third eye chakra, we have lapis lazuli and lavender essential oil. And so what you want to close your eyes and just give it a squirt. Mm. And when it settles, you can open up your eyes again. And uh, just be very careful not to get anything like this in your eyes, you know. But how I'm doing it, I'm being safe. Um, but lavender essential oil is really good for going to bed and, you know, relaxing you and putting it in that state. That's why a lot of people use lavender essential oils and things that are meant for, like, helping you go to sleep, relieving anxiety and stress and things like that. And, um... It's really popular in lotions and candles and things. So this is something that you can also spray on yourself before you go to bed or on your bed sheets, your pillowcase and things like that. Or anytime you just need a little extra relaxation. And then my last and final spray here is the Crown Chakra Spray, which has amethyst crystal with myrrh and rosemary, which is really great for um, opening up your Crown Chakra clearing away things it helps with the rosemary helps with memory and it's also very cleansing and purifying and myrrh is associated with divinity and sovereignty so you're just going to spray it right at the very top of your head and then maybe all around your upper chakra because the crown chakra kind of sets on the very top of your head but also above and then you start getting into your uh, higher crown, the, what it, uh, the star chakra. So uh, now that you have, if you, you know, can, went along with me, we, and the, you can use, you know, essential oils and things like this um, any way that you want. But I like using them as the sprays. And since we are working with water energy, I felt like this was a perfect time to really break these out and work with that water element, okay? And then, um, oh, and now, here, I almost forgot, I, I almost didn't light this, but I have my New Moon Hecate's Dark Moon candle. This was just a black candle with this really seductive-y type scent that I got at the store and I took the original label off and put my own label on it to set my own intention for the candle and so I always like to light this candle for the new moon and the dark moon in honor of Hecate <coughs> excuse me and now that I've used all of the uh, sprays to clear my aura and get myself into balance I have my large selenite wand here and if you have one this is a great tool to use for doing this kind of clearing work <coughs> excuse me and you know just running it across the body and as you run it across your body you know going across the arms under the arms just visualizing any cord or energetic web that's been wrapped around you being cleared away, wafting away, no more attachments to you, 
all the obstacles are being removed all of that stale stagnant dark smoke energy being just wiped away clearing it away and you can go over yourself as many times as you need just imagining that it's being cleared away Make sure you get under your feet, behind your knees, your lower back, your chest, all of it. And when you finally feel like you've gotten rid of everything that's been stuck to you, hmm, you can release it. And I also like to visualize If you visualize all of your, all the things that are inside of you that you're ready to release, ready to let go of, and clear out of your system as, like, sometimes people see it as a dark smoke, or a thick, dark, sticky, tar-like substance, and it's inside of you, and if you visualize at your earth star chakra where you are connected to the earth a swirling portal opening up beneath your feet and you don't fall into the portal but the smoke and the tar and everything that's inside of you that's blocking you that's stuck to you that you just want to get rid of all that nasty energy all the blockages obstacles emotional hurts and fears and doubts just everything that you don't want on you anymore just slowly pulling out going down through your system down through your legs and into the portal and the portal sucks it up and removes it from your system and you become an empty void and don't be afraid of the void because the void isn't a negative space it's just an empty space okay when something is empty it just makes room for it to be filled all right and now that you've been filled you can visualize white light coming down from the top of your from the crown from the universe like all the stars and the moon and the galaxy and the cosmos and the universe all the light from above source life energy coming in through the crown chakra and filling you up and just taking up all of that empty negative space that you've opened up from getting rid of all of that negative stale obstacle energy that you no longer are serving you that you got rid of you removed it and now you filled it with a white golden light or maybe like a violet blue ray light that is also a very healing light and then you take um, a glass of water which here I have my my chalice and you can have some blessed moon water in here uh, purified drinkable clean water and if you so desire you can add um, water safe crystals if you want to to charge the water and I'm not going to you know give you a, a big old list of water safe crystals because there are a lot that are not safe either they it damages the crystal or the crystal damages you and it can make you sick but I can tell you that a plain clear quartz crystal or usually any crystal that's associated with the quartz that is a quartz type is usually you is a uh, water safe but still always double check you and do your research on your crystals to make sure that they are not going to become dissolved in the water in any type of way and ruin the, the crystal or make you sick 
but I like to take the crystal and add it to my water. So I added my clear quartz and it charges it up. And since you have your moon blessed water and then you can just hold the water and just visualize the water being filled with positive energy and actually speak to the water. If that's the best that you can do, if anything, speak to your water and speak to your water with love and all the positive things that you want to come into your life. And if possible, you can also use a singing bowl or the Chinese chime things, tuning forks, those types of things that put off the vibration. If you play the vibration next to the water, it goes in, it, it'll go into the water and it'll raise the water's vibration. And you can chant the things that you want to bring into your life or what you want to heal and things like that. Whatever your intention is, set in your intention into the water. So that's what we're going to do now. I call in emotional healing, physical healing, mental healing, spiritual healing, healing, wellness, health, all around, in every aspect of my life, health, wealth, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, prosperity, health, wealth, love, success, peace, joy, happiness, tranquility, healing, happiness, love, Harmony, balance. As I will it, so mode it be, so shall it be. It is so. Blessed be. Thank you, Goddess Hecate, for blessing this water, for raising its vibration for it hearing my intentions and absorbing my intentions so that as I drink of this water I receive the blessings and it becomes a part of me thank you blessed be And then you can just feel the magic of the water flowing through your body. And you, this is something that you can do all day, every day. You know, make a big batch of moon water and, you know, keep it in your refrigerator. And then you can add a little bit of it to every glass of water that you drink, constantly enchanting it, you know. And you can do all sorts of things to remind you of what excuse me, your water represents, and just always be very conscious of your water, speaking to your water, and all that stuff, so. And then, like I said, the ritual bath as well, or going to a body of water, playing in water, 
um, letting it go, learning to go with the flow. Water has so many lessons to teach us when it comes to um, healing ourselves. And then we can move on to the last phase of moon magic. Um, I'm really excited. I'm going to just pull a few oracle cards to kind of see what the messages are that are coming through. And also, just a, um, a side note, moon magic, any whether it be a new moon or a full moon, divination is always um, a great thing to try and do during this time. And um, for me personally, because it's a new moon and it's associated with the color black, you know, a uh, black mirror, or maybe like a black glass bowl with water inside of it would be a great way to um, do some divination during this time. So a black bowl with some water in it, since it's a water sign, and scrying into the water, that would be a wonderful thing to do later. Or, you know, like I said, a black mirror would also be really cool to try. Um, so... Uh, yeah, just to, just to throw those out there. And meditation is also always a good thing to do every day, but even especially more n now during these times. But let's see. Ooh. We have You Are Not Alone. Isolation, physical connection, and community. That's awesome. You are not alone. Now is the time for you to, like I had said, working on our relationships, working on those bonds, remembering that you're not alone, um, to not be alone at this time, and to develop a physical connection with those that you love, or those that you want to call into your life and into your tribe, all right? So, working on those partnerships and relationships and the ones that you love, you know, doing a healing around that. Maybe, you know, just opening up. Ooh, the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, and integration time. The blue flame, the blue violet flame, like I was mentioning, this is a great type of energy that you can call upon to uh, fill you up and heal you, okay? This is very powerful healing energy, but it's also related to, like it was saying, the awakening within, the kundalini energy, the healing, and then the kundalini rising and awakening that third eye and activation light code energy is definitely coming through right now this is like i said i'm filming this today on the 77 portal and in, in trying to get this ready to be posted by or before the actual new moon in cancer but that seven energy is really strong that portal energy is really powerful right now and really just working on that spiritual awakening and emotional healing and getting rid of the blockages so you can reset your intentions under this new moon. And then we also have baby steps. Action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. Look at that. And it's definitely a portal right there. Look at all those light codes coming uh, coming in right here. These are all light codes. All right? Taking baby steps, trusting yourself, trusting the mission, you know, doing the work, taking action, okay? You know, do the darn thing and trust your gut. You know if it's right, okay? You know if it feels good, you know? If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Let it go. Stop making excuses. Stop doubting. Stop fearing, you know? Your intuition is a powerful tool. Awaken it. Use it. And then lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. That's what it says. You've done this before. Another portal, you guys. 
You know what you're supposed to do. You've done it before. You have the wisdom. You have the knowledge. One more from this deck, okay? This is ancient wisdom. This is wisdom of Atlantis. This is wisdom of Lemuria. These are, you know, old, old soul contracts and, you know, karmic ties and just, you know, the, um, the book. it says portal I mean we have two portals three portals almost four every 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 single one of these cards has a portal but this one literally says portal and it says doors opening you decide rewards wild card okay this is a powerful time for you to just activate heal and let all that ancient wisdom and knowledge from your higher self and from lifetimes before come in and you know just fill you up and help you and to teach you and to guide you open yourself up activate that higher self you already know what you're supposed to be doing and where you're supposed to be you know it's almost like why should i even be telling you this you already know you guys all right i'm gonna pull a few more cards from this deck simplify your life eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities guys we're in a cancer new moon cancer is all about the home life all right you guys declutter clean eliminate get rid of the things that are just you know if you got to do all the deep cleaning do the deep cleaning okay if you got to organize organize rearrange if you have to but don't just do it on the outside, do it on the inside. Get that plan going. Bring balance in, okay? Bring the more you know what you're doing, the more clarity you will have. Oh. This one jumped out. You're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you can't see the results. You are being divinely guided. You are being helped. You are being supported. Alright? Just accept the help. Take the help. Okay, guys? Open yourself up. Healing heart. You're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. Alright, you are a powerful healer. Not only are you healing yourself, but by healing yourself, you heal others. It makes a huge difference, you guys, when you're able to open up and help others. It is part of our mission as light workers and as star seeds and as magical beings, witches, whatever you want to call yourself. It doesn't matter what you call yourself. We're all here to help heal the collective. Ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. Yes, what you desire. Go after it. Set your intentions. Underneath this amazing 7-7 portal and Cancer New Moon in the 7th house. I mean, shit is happening. And now is the time to, you know, rely... Miracles are happening. Believe in it. Friendship. Make a date and play with one or more of your friends. Okay? Partnerships. Close relationships. You know... You do your healing, you help them heal. Okay? Yes, go out there, have fun. Hang out with your friends. Enjoy the beautiful sunshine, okay? Enjoy this beautiful weather while we can. Ooh. We have pay attention. Nettle. See the eye? The eye is opening. Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention. Look for signs. Look for signs, you guys. 
use your intuition. There's a lot going on around you. Keep an eye open for synchronicities and miracles and all the amazing things. Ooh. And then for our last card, we have Feel in Order to Know. Sugalite. The nervous system. Calm your nervous system. Bring yourself into a state of relaxation and know yourself. Trust yourself. You know, you are a spiritual being. You, you are not um, a human being living a spiritual experience, but a spiritual, biz spiritual being living a human experience, you guys. Tapping into that higher mind and realizing that you're, you know, you're in control, okay? But there's also a lot of healing going on in that card, too. The healing may be related to the nervous system, you know, and the muscular system and things like that. But mainly the nervous system, you know, the connections. Alright, so that is my oracle reading for the new moon in Cancer for the general collective. I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope you all got something out of it. And... Thank you all for coming and hanging out with me. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm supposed to say. Well, I can say this. Tonight is a good night to just sit down and journal. To set your intentions and to script. To visualize what it is that you truly dream you know, or to write about just how you feel right now, you know, and to be honest and to let go, you know, do, just do the journaling, make the plan, script the future, and, you know, just really get into that space, you know, oh, by the way, these little pins, I'm all, I made these wand pins, crystals and wire wrap and stuff like that, these are also going to be up on my Etsy too, these are fun, I also make journals and notebooks and things like that, and, magical jewelry like this you know I make all kinds of stuff and yeah I'm not ashamed to plug myself I don't care it's my channel and I love sh I love making things I love creating things and I love sharing them and anyways so but any that's not the point the point is is to just grab what you have and just you know be artistic right get it out make room if you get it out then you have room all right room for more okay so that's my advice this is my oracle we all did the spray and the cleansing and getting it all out don't forget to take your ritual bath tonight don't forget to meditate and set your intentions with your with your water and your crystals and everything like that do whatever it is that you desire And I'm going to blow out this candle, and as the flame goes out and the smoke is carried up, all of our intentions and all of our wishes and all of our blessings will be carried up into the sky and to be received and transmuted back to us, as I will it so motivate. Blessed be. take a moment here and thank you Lord and Lady God and Goddess for joining me here in this space tonight and blessing us and as we bless you and honoring our and us as we honor you and coming into our space and just wrapping your energy around us and supporting us and guiding us and being here for us now and into the future thank you we thank all spirit guides <coughs> master teachers guardians that were here for our highest good with most positive intentions for coming and for space and guiding us and protecting us and 
teaching us and whispering to us. We appreciate you. Thank you. And then we would like to take a moment to thank all of the elements, earth, air, fire, and water of the north, south, east, and west for coming into our space and bringing us all of your wonderful balancing energies for nurturing us and for guiding us and for giving us clarity and passion and will and creativity and healing and grounding and protection and all of the things. We thank you so much. We give you blessings and we receive your blessings. We release you. And our circle is cleared. Alright, so thank you all for joining me here in the space. I hope you all enjoyed it with me as I enjoyed it with you. And if you like this type of content, and obviously there will be a lot more where this came from, um, I also not only do I do circles, but I also do astrology and tarot and I share my book of shadows with you guys and I share witchy spiritual magical tips and I'm also a spiritual life coach and an energy healer and so all of my content is just you know I, I like to do a bunch of things I like to share a bunch of things and I like to just you know there's so many different elements of things that I want to do and I just so happy to be able to be here in this space and share it all with you guys and i appreciate everybody who supports everything that i've been doing and yeah so you all have a wonderful magical new moon in cancer and i will be seeing you all next time at the full moon bye